Google has officially launched Gemini Ultra. No, this is called Gemini Advanced. And this is a new model or also new interface because they are rebranding BARD into Gemini. So in this video, I'm going to go through a little rant of mine and also we're going to see what announcements Google have made. So first of all, if you have been telling people that, hey, I use either ChatGPT or Google BARD, now you have to change that because Google has officially killed Google BARD. It is going to be called Gemini. And Gemini comes with a new model called Gemini Ultra, but they don't want to call it Gemini Ultra. They want to call it Gemini Advanced. So we have BARD, which is dead now. We have Gemini Ultra, the model name, which is going to be called Gemini Advanced on the web. And we all know that Google has already launched those three models, Gemini Pro, Gemini Ultra, Gemini Nano. I mean, it's, I don't, I don't understand. Honestly, I don't understand this entire rebranding. I know Google would probably know better than me. Um, all the developers there would have solved lead code. Probably the product managers would have also solved lead code. So I don't have that qualification to tell this, but honestly, this sounds like a big mess at this point. I mean, you have got companies with the name Hugging Face, Chat GPT, shining all around the world. So why do you have to do this rebranding only when people have started using the word BARD? Like, I mean, I don't know, maybe that's, that's enough of rant. So what is happening here? The thing that is happening here is Google has said, this is the next chapter of their Gemini and bunch of things. One, they are announcing Gemini Advanced and Gemini Advanced is nothing but Ultra. So this is the Ultra that was never released. And then the second thing is that uh, Google Gemini capabilities are going to be integrated with Workspace and Google Cloud. This is very similar to what Microsoft has been doing with Microsoft Copilot. So if you know Copilot, it is within the Microsoft 365 ecosystem and you can do a bunch of things and Microsoft even released a very touching Super Bowl ad. So Google is following Microsoft footstep. What is next? The next thing is Google thought, okay, what if we combine all these things and just like Microsoft, we charge people. So Google said, okay, let's launch Google Advanced. Sorry, Gemini Advanced. I'm at this point, I'm confused with the name. So get Gemini Advanced and more with a Google One AI premium plan. So now there is a new plan called Google One AI premium plan. And what is a Google One AI premium plan? So this comes with Gemini Advanced, the most capable AI model, Ultra 1.0, state-of-the-art performance designed for high complex tasks. Okay, these are the features that I'm getting with Gemini Advanced. Cool, okay. Also included in one subscription, 2TB of storage, available soon, Gemini in Gmail, Docs and more, and other Google One premium benefits. So they have taken Google One, which is already a subscription that Google has been running, coupled it with Gemini Advanced, and then they are calling this as Google One AI premium plan. For the first two months, you can start using it for free, but after two months, you have to pay, like in India at least, you have to pay almost like 2,000 rupees, which is a thing equivalent to $20, 20 dollars, 20 dollars outside India. So if you are using Google Bard, now it is going to be called Gemini and uh, I can already see the rebranding here. Hello, Abdul, how can I help you? This is Gemini. Uh, I think the basic version of Gemini is still the Gemini Pro, which is was fi firing, which is was, was powering Google Bard. Now the Gemini Advance will come to you only when you upgrade and once you click to upgrade, you will be taken to this Gemini Advanced screen, which I was just showing you. So you can start the trial and then use it for free for the two months. And in terms of Google Gemini Advanced, Google is saying that this is their best model because Ultra One is the first model to outperform human experts on MMLU, which itself has been quite controversial to be honest. And I'm quite surprised to see them using this again and again in their PR. I mean, because th this has been like one of the most debated topic when Google Gemini Ultra was launched or uh, Google Gemini families of model were launched. So which uses a combination of 57 subjects to including math, physics, history, law, medicine, and ethics to test the knowledge and problem solving abilities. So we need to still see how this model is doing. They said uh, in some test that they did where the third party reviewers actually preferred Google Gemini over every other model. Let's, uh, let's, let's see, let's test the model and then see. But for today, um, if you want to know, Google has kind of either launched a new model or rebranded a new model 
or killed an existing product. I think Google has done a bunch of things. And uh, one thing that is clear is they have launched a new premium plan. Let me know in the comment section if you will buy this premium plan. I know it's an easy decision for people who are already Google One premium users, but for people who are not, will you buy Google One premium plan just because you have got Gemini Ultra? I think it's a very interesting proposition to be honest, because one is you pay for chat GPT plus you don't get a lot of stuff. But on the other hand, you pay a lot for Microsoft, but maybe you don't have everything in Microsoft ecosystem. Now Google is coming and saying that, okay, pay me the $20. It's almost like every single company is fighting for your $20. So Google is saying, pay me the $20 and we will give you everything that is in Google one premium with some AI to it. And I'm planning to test Google Gemini Ultra Advanced, the latest one. See you in the video. Happy prompting.